Okay, I'm cooking my chicken lemon asparagus dinner, suggested by Brian. I have my chicken in here. It's cooking in my copper pan. I have one of my green pans. Let's turn this around. I have one of my green pans with the asparagus cooking. I've got my sauce cooked. I've got my noodles cooked. And I'm cooking my chicken. So, when it's done, I don't have enough copper pans to cook everything. <laughs> hey Deborah, how are you doing? I had to use a copper pan and two of my Echo Green pans and a regular old red pan, which is a Rachel Ray pan. I'm going to cook the chicken lemon asparagus dinner. I'm going to be putting it together here in a few minutes because it's almost done. I'm just waiting on the asparagus to get done and a little bit of the chicken to get done. And then pretty soon it will be done. But <clears throat> until then, we got a few minutes. I was going to hang my camera up by my pot like I did last time, but the steam kind of messes up the camera. But we're almost done. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get the camera up here so you guys can see. Let's see. Hopefully I don't drop my camera in the food. Let's see if we can get this hung up here. Give me it. Just bear with me for a minute. Let's see if we can get this down here. Can you guys see that pan? Okay. So, let me take one chicken and cut it. And let's see what it looks like. Woo! Looks good to me. Okay. So now, actually I should cut these into little more pieces. I don't want to scratch my pan. <laughs> now I got my phone turned towards the pot, so if you're saying, saying anything, I can't see you. Yep, looks done to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let me drain this asparagus really quick. We're going to pour it in there. Okay, in goes the asparagus, <clears throat> and we're going to put the noodles in there too, let me get a spoon, so these go all on top of here, this is one of them green echo pans, and uh, they stick a little you see, not everything slid out of the green echo pans. I've had them for a year. They've done good for a year, but now they're kind of getting, kind of getting old. Okay, we'll get all this stirred up in here. And now, let's see if the sauce is thick enough. Got the sauce, it don't quite look thick enough, does it? I'm not good at making sauces, but that's all right. It might thicken up in the if we heat it a little bit, get it a little bit thicker. Maybe if I add some flour to it, <laughs> I don't know, but. This is looking good. Now what I'm going to do with this after I get that sauce a little thick is it's going to go in the oven on 350 for a good 20 minutes. Just enough to get it a little crispy. But basically this is all there is to it. So this is dinner tonight. Chicken asparagus. 
That's what it is. Chicken asparagus. What kind of noodles? The noodles I cooked were these. Nor butter chicken noodles. That's what I used tonight. And they are so good. And then boneless and skinless chicken breast. And then the asparagus. And your salt, your pepper. Uh, lemon zest. And lemon juice. And a little bit of uh, butter. And this is what it turns out to be. So, it's going to be delicious. Can you use other than asparagus? Yes, you can use other stuff than asparagus. You can use uh, anything you want, really. It's to your liking, whatever you choose. You can use uh, green beans or peas. or I was going to put some um, red peppers and green peppers in it, but I didn't get none. Oh, my juice. I just overspilt my gravy. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, you can, I was going to get lemon peppers and red peppers to put in it, but I was at the store and I forgot. Aunt Peggy, you don't know if it's nasty. Have you ever had it? I've never had asparagus. That's why I'm going to try it. Yeah, broccoli would be good. I'm thinking cauliflower might be good with it too. Cauliflower and broccoli. Maybe even add some cheese. I might have to do that next time. That sounds pretty good. But anyway, that's that's the gist of it. Now I'm just going to put it in the oven. Let it bake for about a half hour. And then dinner is done. I will take a picture of it when dinner's finished. And I'll post it so you can see all what it looks like. Now i got a ton of dishes to do. Nope, I never. <laughs> You'll never try asparagus, Aunt Peggy. I've never tried it, but I'm going to try it tonight. Cheddar cheese and broccoli, yeah, I think that would be good on it, too. Use the noodles and the chicken instead of asparagus. Use broccoli and cheddar cheese. That would be awesome, Aurora. I think that sounds good. This weekend, I'm going to make um, another strawberry cake. But I'm going to make one with real strawberries, and it's going to be a chocolate cake. So I'm going to make that this weekend. What, Aurora? Oh, you don't you don't like asparagus? Yeah, I've never had it, so this is going to be a first for me. We'll see how that goes. Let's stick this in the oven. And let it cook for about 30 minutes. Oh. And I just got that all on my clean my stove. I just spilt my sauce. Did you bake the chicken? Now what I did was I uh, put the chicken in my uh, my copper pan, my square pan, and I just cooked it on low, like I'm frying it. And I think the copper pan just it's like baking it. It came out. It comes out really good. <clears throat> oh, he came into the tail end. You don't like asparagus either, Deborah. Well, like I said, it'll be a first for me tonight, too. I've never ate it. I've never had it. So I guess we'll see. Um, but the chicken, I just put it in my copper square pan. And then I just, I didn't put nothing in it except for the salt, the pepper, um, the lemon zest, and a little bit of lemon juice, about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I put it in the copper pan, I put the chicken in there, and then I put the lid on, and all the juices from the chicken and the steam makes a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan. So it kind of steams the chicken and cooks it that way. That way it comes up nice, soft, and tender. So that's how I did my chicken. And now I've got it in the oven, and... It's baking in the oven in the noodles and everything and all that juices and it's all going to mix together. Is that an extra place for... Gotcha, Shelby. We can have an extra plate for you. Are you in town? <laughs> well... 
Well, when it's done, I will uh, post a picture for you all so you can see what it looks like when it's done. I haven't had spaghetti for probably a good two months, Aunt Peggy. I, I don't know, I just ain't got the taste for it. Well, if you want, Shelby, you can uh, stop on over if you want to and uh, pick up that thing for that uh, eyeliner. I can post the recipe if you want. Um, it is on uh, one of my tags, but I will post it um, on my site. That way you guys can all see what I did. I can post it up for you. It's a chicken lemon asparagus. So hopefully you try it, and hopefully you guys all like it. Like I said, you don't have to use the asparagus. You can use broccoli, or you can use cauliflower, or whichever you choose to, whichever is your preference. Huh, you coming over for dinner too, Rick? <laughs> I probably made enough for an army, I'll tell you. Okay, Aurora, I'll tag you in it. I can do that. Um... I'll see if I can uh, link it right underneath this video when I post the video. That way it might be easier, too, and I'll tag all of you in it. But um, that's about it for now until it's done. What's nasty, Aunt Peggy? You don't like broccoli and cauliflower either. I love broccoli and cheese. Um, they were saying to use broccoli and the cheese instead of the asparagus, so it might be that it might be good that way too with the cheddar cheese. Just bring me and Dad leftovers. <laughs> I don't know. Marshall's eating. There might not be no leftovers. <laughs> but I, you, I made quite a bit, so there might be. Um, so in a half hour, well, yeah, about 25 minutes now. I'll post the picture when it's done cooking, and then that way you guys can see it all. You seen those set of Walmart, those knives at Walmart, Rick? I haven't got a chance to go look yet. Did you did they did you notice how much they were, or was it the whole set or single knives? Oh, you don't like broccoli and cauliflower, Aunt Peggy. I'm not too fond of cauliflower, but I love broccoli as long as you smother it in cheese. I prefer to have cheese on mine because I don't like to eat it raw or it has to be cooked. But you know me, I like cold peas right out of the can, just like my spinach. <laughs> yep, but they're in. Oh, they were in with the square pan? Well, I didn't get no knives with my square pan. Wait a minute. Did I get knives with my square pan? I did get some kind of knife, I think. Let me look. <laughs> oh, I guess I did. <laughs> I guess I did. Here it is. I forgot I even had these. Oh, wow. I guess I should try them. Yeah, right there it says Copper Chef Pan Knife. Huh. Well, Rick... I guess I did get some. Holy crap. So I guess I'll try the, using these tomorrow and see how they work. Wow. Forgot I even had them. I guess they did come with my pan. God, some a blonde moment there, huh? <laughs> I, think, I think there's three of them, ain't there, Rick? What are they used for, Aurora? Well, they're just... They're just the knives, I assume you can use them for meat or vegetables or whatever to cut what you need. I think uh, probably for the meat, like pot roast and steaks and stuff like that. So, I'll try one tomorrow. I gotta think, think of something to cook for tomorrow. See if I got a... Uh, maybe I'll have a pot roast in there tomorrow and I can cup a pot roast or something and see how they work. Uh, we'll look in the freezer see what we got. Alright guys, we will talk to you in about 20 minutes. I'll post the recipe right now and I will go uh, and I'll post a picture when it's done. The one we got did was just...
Just a pan, no knives, so he needs some. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even remember those knives came with my pan. If Rick wouldn't have told me, but geez, that's crazy. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in about 20 minutes. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.